get this party started. Are you guys ready? Let's rock and roll. <clears throat> so today we're talking about one specific tip that you can use to help increase your sales. Now we could talk about all different kinds of things, but there's one thing in particular that I have in mind, and that is how to share your story with authority. You know, I don't know if you've ever heard this phrase that facts tell, but stories sell. A lot of times we get in business for ourselves, whether you're an entrepreneur and you have a traditional business of maybe a print shop or your realtor, whatever, we have these facts that we want to share. Let's say you're in network marketing. We're talking about our product. We're talking about what it does. We're delivering all this information and that is awesome. But people buy on emotions. So what we got to do is learn to stir up the pot of emotions that takes place when you meet with somebody else. Because if we can stir the emotions, people will buy on emotion, but then they'll go ahead and back it up with logic. So all those beautiful things that you have to say about your facts and your figures and all the amazing stuff that your products or service do, that's all good. That's all important. But we got to get the emotional part in there. So here's my question. You tell me yay or nay. Have you ever been at a home party or at an open meeting where there's a big group of people and you're in a hotel room and they're giving testimonies, okay? And while they're giving these testimonies, somebody gets up there and they go on and on and on and you're just like, when is this person gonna stop? Have you ever been there? Because I totally have been in that type of situation and you're like, oh my goodness, this person is gonna steal the show. They're gonna take over the entire presentation. So what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that A, number one, we have our story packaged in a way that we don't cause that type of effect. <laughs> we don't want people saying, when is this person gonna be quiet? No. When you're sharing your story, you want to be able to have it packaged in a couple of different formats. Number one is a short format. So like 30 seconds, let's say you're in the elevator with someone and you're talking to them and they ask, what do you do? Well, you want to have something compelling that's going to attack, you know, get their attention, right? Let's say on the other hand, maybe you're doing the presentation. Now, a lot of the times when I do a presentation at some point, whether it's in the beginning or whether it's when I get to the financial piece, you know, I'm always sharing my story. I'm always going to get to that. But that is not a 30 second story. That may be a couple of minutes and maybe even up to five minutes. It just depends on the situation and how long your whole presentation is going to go. So what we want to do is we want to pull out the things that are going to cause people to say, so what? Who cares? <laughs> get to the bottom line. Tell me what this did, right? We want to pull those things out of our story so that we don't cause those kind of things with our prospects, but we want to put in there like a couple of power statements. So I'm going to give you kind of the one, two, threes for how to share your story with authority. Okay. The first one is obviously you want to go ahead and say prior to getting started, here's what happened. <clears throat> couple of examples. Let's just talk network marketing. Let's talk that you have had a great transformation. You're doing really well financially. Prior to getting started, I was working two jobs. I had bills coming in every single month. I had more month, you know, left at the end of the month than I, than I had money to pay. And I just really didn't know what to do. So that could have been a, you know, a before, right? Then I found whatever. <laughs> your company, right? The thing that saved everything for you. Then I got, then I found XYZ company. I've been working with them for X amount of time, three weeks, three months, three years. It doesn't matter. And this is the results. You know, I shared it with the first couple of friends. I started getting some great traction. In my first three weeks, I made $2,600, whatever, whatever it was for you, right? So it's short, it's to the point, and it's compelling to where people are like, oh my gosh, that's really cool. I don't know everything, but if that could happen for you, maybe it could happen for me, right? So we wanna just keep it very simple. You know, prior to getting started, Here's where I was at. Then I got introduced to XYZ company or XYZ product or whatever it is that changed your life. And here are the results. So super simple. Um, if you're obviously, you know, in a health and nutrition company, you want to be really careful about making claims. Even if you're talking about your income, you want to be careful about making claims. You know, one of the things that's so very important is that you protect the, the longevity of your organization. You protect your company. Because if you, if your company gets flagged by the FTC, there will be no company to pay you a check. So always make sure that whatever you share with your testimony, it's compliant and it matches whatever your company say is okay to talk about, right? So that's really important. So let's talk about what to do from here. So let's say you're like, okay, Summer, <clears throat> that's wonderful. You might have a fantastic and compelling story. What if I don't? They're like, hey, I don't have my 
my income testimony yet, or I'm not too sure, I'm still trying out my products and services. Hey, this is a monkey see, monkey do business. Borrow one. <laughs> you like someone's that you hear, you've heard, maybe they're in your team, maybe they're in your upline organization, borrow the story. Say, hey, you know what? I'm just getting started, but let me tell you what really fired me up. I met so-and-so, and prior to getting started, they were a construction worker, they were working so many hours, and they were not really getting ahead, and they didn't have any time to get see their family. They got started doing this business, and here's what happened. And, and, and that's it. So, number one, you wanna try and focus on number one, sharing your story. Because if you can share from, you know, first party, right? Share from yourself. That's going to be the thing that you can get most passionate, most fired up about. And people are going to really relate to you because nine times out of 10, who are you talking to? People, you know, right? <laughs> you're talking to your friends, you're talking to your family, you're talking to, you know, friends of friends and so forth. And so they're like, Hey, I know you, you did this. Okay, great. Now where do I get started? Right? So just kind of number one, if you can share first, first party, your story, fantastic. If you're still in the process of developing your story, no problem. Borrow someone's, listen to someone that you liked, go ahead and borrow their story and package it in a way that, you know, obviously is the most truthful, but at the same time is going to stir up those emotions and can, and can compel some people to want to go ahead and get started with you. And then number three, of course, is let's go share. <laughs> we are in a business where it's all about sharing. The more you can share, the more you can get the word out there, the more you can get, you know, more people listening to what it is that you have to share about. Obviously, the more growth you're going to have in your business and your team, and you're going to make a whole lot of friends in the process. It's going to be so much fun. So get out there, learn what you want to say about yourself, package your story up, make it a short story, like 30 seconds. And then also, you know, you can have something a little longer. Just remember, Anytime you're gonna give a testimony, whether it's in a big open meeting, whether it's a home meeting, 60 seconds max. Leave the audience on the edge of their seat wanting more versus like <laughs> looking at their watch, right? <laughs> so those are my tips for tonight. Take this one massive tip, use it, apply it. You know, storytellers are the highest paid professionals out there. So master it and you can accomplish just about anything. One other thing, my friends, one of the things that will help you get people to talk to and actually have them reaching out to you is if you can learn how to harness the power of social media. Social media is one of those wild and crazy beasts that can work for you or work against you. So learn how to have it working for you. Learn how to have prospects reaching out to you. How do you do that? You're like, Summer, I don't know anything about this. <laughs> no problem. If you click on the link that's listed in the description, it's actually my social me media blueprint. It's things that I've used, I've applied in my business, and it's a great way to actually have prospects reaching out to you to want to know more about what you do. So go ahead and click on the link. Go ahead and enjoy the free gift. And that is all. One other thing is if we haven't met before, or I am just showing up in your newsfeed, totally would love to meet you. So send me a message. Uh, you can either do it on my website or if you're on Facebook, private message me and I'd love to get a chance to meet you and to hear your story. So take care, be blessed, have an incredible week. For more great training and to receive your free MP3 download on how to attract prospects using social media, the four essential elements to attracting prospects, visit summergeronimo.com.